Good afternoon. Well, I thought, good morning, everybody. Hope you're all well and having a good day so far. Today started with a really, really, really heavy fog. It was so thick that we couldn't see past from the lounge window. We couldn't see past the the pavement. It was that thick, and it's lifted to give us an absolutely glorious day. So, welcome to new subscribers. Welcome to all of you. This is the first proper update since last year with the school garden and I'm standing right at the far end of what will be part of the vegetable garden and all sorts of other bits because I've got piles of wood piling up there ready to make hedgehog houses for the winter next winter that is we're not even properly into summer here we're not just spring um, but yeah I have built a teepee there ready for um, pumpkins or rather butternut squash because that's what I'm growing at home so I'll have plenty left over the broccoli is already sprouting and ready for harvest took some home the other day told the teachers they should as well the children have been trying it raw so they're ready they're going to start flowering as well so whether we use them as sprouted or flowers to eat that'll be an interesting one for them too um, the beds here need a bit more tidying up because the weeds have grown since then they need more mulch um, we had a delivery yesterday of some wood chips so what's piled up there I will use to cover up just a little bit because that's supposed to stay for the paths and the path is winding around the garden over there you can see but so maybe I'll just bring a bit more wood chips from home to uh, mulch around the fruit trees and bushes because that needs doing but um, this cable reel is not doing too well in the weather because it's not being covered and painted and looked after very well over the winter so I'm going to move that <sighs> hopefully today maybe by next week but I need to level out a patch over here so it can stand here um, for the children to sit at and stand at and work at and um, we'll paint some colorful paints as long as we can find some so if anybody's willing to donate loads of colorful paints for wood outdoors that would be lovely let me know also compost if anybody locally has lots of compost or is willing to give us compost that is what we need as well especially um, the school is waiting for another for a delivery of um, stone chips to go in the construction area um, so that should hopefully arrive today the plants the grapes are doing okay it's got leaves buds coming up on there you can't even see it from there let me get closer there's buds on the grapes so that won't be long and we'll be able to train it all along this fence there's a hawthorn that has naturally come up there I'm going to leave it the just berries are growing fine I've continued to um, build this path here and with the photographs that I've posted it shows that um, I have tidied up this bit and mulch with wood chips from home. This is done this morning, this bed. This one is prepared this morning. And I've put some spinach, some chard, some onions, and some forget-me-nots in here. And hopefully soon we'll have lots of marigolds and lettuces as well. Same as here. I might just get something more perennial in this corner because it's potentially a slug paradise in that corner this is where all the stone chips are going to go for the children and that's a muddy play area for them to dig in that area on the fence we're going to stick some construction netting and then hang lots of colorful bits and pieces hanging on there um, these beds are nicely being looked after by the children um, that's what it looks like so far we're not quite finished with that seating area we've put some fake turf on there I built up the level of the grass because obviously it was sloping quite badly so we what we dug out of the paths or what I dug out the paths we piled on upside down over there to level it out and create a terrace so that's safer for the children to sit on so they've got a log story corner right there and this arch has got an clematis to go up it around it and we'll put some colorful ribbons hanging from there so that it's a little bit of a ribbon door archway and maybe something else to climb up along that side 
the muddy kitchen area that they play in that over there for them to play another cable reel we're looking as i said for lots of colorful paints to paint them and make them more nice and decorated i would love ideally to create a flat surface on the top and edging and then fill it with self-leveling compound for a nice rubberized kind of play area but that's not within the budget so any donations of paints and compost would be very happily accepted I chopped down that cotoneaster growing by the pipes because that pipe is blocked and I'm suspecting that it might have grown into the pipes because that's a ceramic pipe. They will very soon have to sort that out because it overflows every time it's used from the kitchen inside the, the classroom. Um, so yes, we'll have to get some root and stump killer on that, unfortunately. It's a structural thing. But yeah, that is the bit that we've been doing so far. Other than that, donations from charity have paid for all of that play area there and they've built it so the company that built it came over and did it all in one day it's been absolutely fantastic it makes the space usable for the children outdoors they even built um, one of those uh, composite plastic um, sea roofs the clear plastic roofs on the top of that so in all weathers the children can still play out there so it's lovely, it's been really enjoyable. And I've been, this is three days now at the garden because we've had to do it all in a rush. So all other work, the crafts, everything else has had to take a side step just for now because next week is the official opening of the garden and the charity who donated the money wants to come see what's been done with the money, which is mostly all of this. Most of this has been between the teachers and myself and donations last year from other parents um, so yeah all of this will practically be done out of whatever we can muster ourselves or use naturally or chop and drop and that so it's going to have to be a very natural thing without much um, we're going to have to be very creative with stones and things we find the one teacher said she's going to go to the beach and find lots of um, big stones and pebbles to edge the beds with and things like that and create things for the children to build so it just means we're going to be have to be very creative and if anybody's cutting hedges at home we'll tell them to bring in all the teachers to bring the hedge cuttings and the lawn clippings and things if they're not using it at home so there yeah it's very difficult to get volunteers of anything it's very difficult to get um, parents involved for some reason I don't know everybody is very very busy with their lives life is very busy for most people right now but there's something so valuable and precious about being able to just volunteer a little bit of your time to something like this it feels good the children love it and to see their faces when they come out and see something new and learn about the plants i can't wait to get it properly finished by the end of the year so yeah i just had a thought actually well i've got corn sprouting ready to go in pots ready to be planted out and I thought hang on a second by the time they go in the ground through the school summer holidays which is six whole weeks they'll be at their most important growing stages so will that be a problem there'll be nobody to come into the school grounds to water and look after them oh well even if we're only growing seed for next year <laughs> I just had that thought Oh well, there you go. That'll be interesting to see how that fares over the summer holidays. All of those fruit bushes and trees and that, they're, they're perennials. So, and I really did water really well last year in the autumn and I put newspaper and cardboard and loads of wood chips and compost down. So that really did look after them since November right the way through till now because I haven't been watering I don't think the children have especially like they've had lots of holidays and nobody's really been out here and they've looked after themselves so that's the kind of stuff we like things that look after themselves the school that have bought a new sale for those so there'll be a sale that goes on those poles so that'll be there soon where the cable reel is now and I want to move it in a bit we're going to put all the tires in a circle ready for the bean poles so that we can grow the climbing beans up there in a couple of weeks when they're ready to go out but in the meantime yes we need a lot of compost to fill those tires 
I'll obviously continue digging up the paths and using the soil squares, the blocks that I dig up to fill some of the bottoms of the tires and make new beds along the paths. So you can see along the edges, wherever we dig up paths, I'll make new beds. Otherwise, I'll have to chop some cardboard up into shapes of beds along the paths and just pile on loads of compost over the winter so that we've got beds either side of the paths. There'll be lots of little paths and little things to go to. That'll be really good. So anyway, we've reached 10 and a half minutes, be 11 by the time I'm finished here, and that will take an entire day to upload with my new provider. Not very good, but I'm still thinking of that all four services can join together. We've made a £700 a year savings, so I'm willing to put up with the entire day to upload a video just for the savings for the year. There you go. So that'll be upload uploaded today sometime. You'll see the update of the garden and I will let you know next week because Tuesday I'll be coming in again just for some last minute tidying up and prettying up of the garden with some colorful stuff and then it's the official opening on Thursday. So for now all until then have a lovely day. I might be able to get another video made on Monday for whatever's going on with crafts at home or the garden. Until then have a lovely few days. Enjoy the weather while it lasts. We're heading for a bit of a colder weekend but hopefully it'll pick up again after that so enjoy it find something to do whatever it is and bye bye for now